Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the Dancing Creepers. Today, or uh, over this weekend, um, I'm going to be building, well, two worlds. First, I'm going to be terraforming with this cool program called World Painter. Uh, it's the only one that I've used so far and it's the easiest. <laughs> but, um, I'm going to be making two worlds. I'll be getting ideas from Jerry and Peter, or this writer and Mr. TNT Man. And, well, I just tried to uh, record a last session, and apparently I lost all my custom brushes, but I'll be able to fix that. So, here, we're going to create a new world. The first idea that Peter gave was an airship world, so we're going to um, basically make <laughs> a little island in the sky. It'll be a circular world. It's kind of like, hmm, I guess you'll see. Uh, I don't really have very original names, but I'll try to put the link in the description whenever uh, one of the builds is finished. So it's going to be flat, circular world, airship. All right, perfect. Ah, time to begin. So this is a circular world. What it'll be is um, it'll go all the way down to bedrock and there um, will be the void all the way around it. It'll just be like a little island in the sky with some airships. So first what we're going to do is hmm, raise and lower the terrain around the edges. So we'll put that into water, kind of like the ocean, sort of. But I should probably be using one of these tools to make it a little less smooth little more terrain like <laughs> I've just been using the other one for a long time when I'm just starting uh, so right now we're just going to terraform the world it's going to be a little island with um, some pretty big mountains since you have to ride an airship in the hills or So right now I'm just making the terrain in the ocean a little bigger and a little more rocky, natural. Increasing the size of the brush increases um, how much you can get to it. And I'm just roughing out the coastline a little. Just making a little bay into here. Nice. That was a pretty good shape. <laughs> that looks like a mushroom. But that's fine. Gives it some meaning. So, uh, now we're going to have to create some hills. Uh, well, first we need to texture a little bit of the terrain. So let's put some sand. I use a little fading tool around intensity about 75. And we'll just line the coast with the sand. We'll put a little extra in the bay. I'll go around here. Just a little sand. You know, I might change it later because I might make the coast around the top of here into uh, a nice big mountain sort of region. That'd be nice. Whoa, okay. That's a little too big, but here. So I'm going to try to make a little bit of sea cliffs up around this area first. And for the airships, I'll either be, well, of course I'll make some custom airships, but also I've built a ship and I'm going to probably um, destroy the masts on that and import it using World Edit and turn that into an airship, making the balloons and everything. So right now for this sea cliff, I have to lower the terrain around here so it looks a little more rocky. If you want to see it in 3D view, I'll open that up in just a second. Um, so file, view, show 3D view. Mm -hmm. So I'll try to make it a little more natural. And lower as it goes along this part as well. 
Okay. That's nice. Good enough. Uh, next, I will crunch out this part a little, so it's, I mean, crunch in this part a little, so it's not as sticking out. It's more C clip. Why? Perfect. Just about right to here. Why? It's good enough. Huh. <sighs> now we will begin with some hills. Now this is a little too um unnatural, so that's why we have to smooth it out to the C cliff so that it's more even placed so it's a climb up and then a or a walk up and then a drop maybe we'll have like a big airship like around here that'll be nice so this can go around about to here hmm okay let's see in 3D view. Pretty nice. So far. So far so good. But now I'm going to raise it a little over here. Alright. And now I'm going to use some of the more rocky terrain to make it or rough, rigid. I'm also going to be using um, these wow trees that I found. Oh, <laughs> these really nice custom brush trees that I found. Those were the custom brushes that um, I lost while making a new world when I tried to record the last time. Uh, well, I can always just make another brush. It's pretty easy to do. And I guess you guys will find out how to when I make him as well. Okay. Hmm. I was thinking of making like a little, not a little, but hmm. a mountain in the center. Um, hmm. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. It will have to be pretty big though. It's doing pretty good. Hmm. It's hard to work with lots of terrain because if you mess up, then <laughs> you're done for. Well, besides Control Z. Uh, okay, just roughening out the coastline a little more bringing some more height up into this region. Aye. It's pretty good. Now let's add some textures. I think the top of the mountain should be a little bit of rock. Let's change that intensity down to 50. <laughs> so much for a little bit of rock. At the coast, The coastal cliffs should be Rock. Hmm. I should leave those little specks of sand just to give it some more personality, like the sand washed up on there. Okay. Hmm. Now for this, I'm going to lower a little bit more terrain, because I think that this just needs to be low. The sea cliffs need to be lowered just a little more, so they can be steep enough. Okay, almost finished with the sea cliffs. Then I'm going to try to work on some of the trees. Okay, so maybe there will be a few airships over here, some balloons airships over here, one next to the mountain maybe. Hmm, okay, next. 
I think we should smooth that a little over here more. Or a little upwards to here. It's good enough. Okay. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Oh, right there. Better. Uh, okay. So now that's done. You should see some other textures. Gravel, cobble. Hmm. Ooh, grass with flowers. So I should just move this along the whole thing, because then it'll just make all of the grass more lush, greeny, sort of. Why? Right. Now that's done. So I think up in here we might create some pines, like large pines. Uh... So let's add a custom object layer. So here I have a piece of paper written down with all of the types of trees that I should use. So I go to desktop, world painter stuff. Sorry for my horrible, um, my horrible <laughs> uh, names for things. Okay. Uh, I think we should do the dark grape pines. Well, I know that those are more for, yeah, those are more for, like, snowy places. Oi, right. let's try some giant evergreens. So, 49 through 53. <laughs> and right here just popped up a little box that tells you um, types of tree, or the a little thing of what the tree will look like. So 38 through 43. 38. Okay. Now 36, 30, 24, and 23. 36, 30, 24, and 23. Okay. <laughs> I just wait a f second and that's finished. I'll open those up. I'll name this giant um light evergreens why I'll change the color to this is fine for now okay so now for this brush we need to turn the intensity down pretty far it's 50 is good enough yeah so halfway intensity about so up in here, I'm just tapping on my mouse lightly. We're going to have very large, nice evergreens peeking out over the cliffs. Uh, around here, I think around here, or no, here, we might do a few palm trees. So let's go to a custom object layer. Hmm, the brick. And now we're in BO2s, so we'll do some tropical trees, 73, 74, and 72. 74 and 72. And... Ooh, those are large tropical trees. That's good enough. And 75 as well. Okay. Tropical... trees. Let's make that a little light green like the leaves. Okay, so now we're going to put a few tropical trees around here. Ah, uh, no. Let's make them closer to the coast. Maybe a few here, some over here, and two right there. Okay. So these things just mark out um, where the custom object layer is going to be. Like, this is where all of the giant light evergreens are going to be, of course. Uh, it's going to be an awful lot of them. So, what should else we, uh, what should else, <laughs> what else should we add? Uh, hmm. I don't know, I'm going to check this out in the 3D view, and then we might be done with the terraforming. Well, there's a little 
stump right there. I don't think that'll be very good. So let's lower the terrain over here and smooth it out as well. Okay. Now that that's over. Okay. I think we're finished. So I'm going to export this into a Minecraft map and I will see you in a second.
Okay, everyone, I'm back, and the world has finished importing, so we're going to open it into Minecraft. I'm using Magic Launcher right now with a default configuration that I have made where it has single player commands and the world edit.jar. Okay, now time to begin. The airship world, <laughs> let's see what it's done. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to change it really quick. Oh, darn, I forgot to bonus chest off. I'm going to have to... Because it would take, I mean, otherwise it would take forever to... I mean, delete this is... Hmm. Okay. Well. Wow. Okay. Hmm. I'll just delete all the stuff in my inventory. I also have too many items as well. With Ritsugami's mod. Okay, so here, um, <laughs> I didn't be as lush as they are, but these are the, and wow, okay, that's a lot of palms. Hmm, I didn't realize that these would be, um, mm, incredibly thick. I needed to lower the density a lot, I mean, the intensity a lot. So, I'll be back when the intensity is <laughs> lowered, and hopefully, uh, these trees aren't as plentiful. Okay.
Okay, I am back, and the world has exported once again, and this time I've changed the intensity to only 8% instead of 50. So I hope it, I hope it works a lot better now. So, let's see. Okay, so, uh, seeming as we aren't covered in trees, <laughs> seeing as the side of this mountain isn't covered in trees, we're fine so far. I deleted the bonus chest as well. Or, I didn't delete it, <laughs> I just did, um, let it spawn. Okay. Here we have our nice little, or nice giant. If you look on the mini map, it looks pretty cool. Hmm. It's pretty cool. And once you go up these cliffs and get to the, I mean, you get to the seaside cliff, there's a little stone that's fallen into the water. Um, there's a little sand, of course. Hmm. Little speckles of grass. Ah, oh, these are, these trees are looking nice. Pretty nice. Uh, just froze. Well, that's not good. <laughs> I'll be back in a second. Back, and... Uh... I should probably turn my graphics to, oh, not fast, but, hmm, I need to make the clouds not fancy. I mean, not the clouds, I mean the trees not fancy. Oh, I forgot I don't have Optifine installed. It's going to be a pain in the butt, but, oh well. I still have smooth lighting, so that's nice. Okay, these see-through parts. A lot more luscious. <laughs> Wrapped around. Let's see the coastline. Into here. Nice palm tree. Hmm. That's very nice so far. Oh, around here. The pond trees in the sand again. It's like a speckle of grass and sand. Ooh. Um. I want to see one of the big, uh, really, really big palm trees in one of these. It's like tree. Okay, I'll take around here, and ooh, it's pretty nice. Okay. Hmm. I think I set my fly speed. Uh, that's good. Good enough. with this terrain. It turned out pretty well. Uh, so, next video we will be building the airships and hot air balloons. Thank you guys.